in the main group of ruins, the principal group of Copan. I first visited when I was 16 years old and backpacking through Mexico and Central America. I got as far south as Copan. I was so happy I made it here because I'd read quite a bit about it. The majesty of the place, of the architecture, of the physical environment. This is just a stunning locale. And I remember standing at the entrance to the archaeological park and looking out over the surrounding foothills uh, and toward the stone quarry where all of the stone, where all these monuments came from and thinking to myself, you know, it would just be terrific to work here someday. For the country, it's great to have another site with so many mysteries of the Mayan culture, and we really appreciate all the effort and recognize all the help that we have from Harvard University through Bill and Barbara Fash. I think one of the things that the fascists have done, perhaps as well as anybody in the world, is in training the next generation of archaeologists. Not just American archaeologists, but also training Hondurans with the same skills. Nos han enseñado sobre cómo cuidar las huellas antiguas, las huellas de nuestros antepasados, cómo cuidarlas, respetarlas, no alterar. Yo le hago de mediamente todo un poquito, soy excavador, como también entiendo algo de lo que es restauración, más que todo hacemos parte de lo que es reestructurar o restaurar o consolidar. Creemos que es bien importante conocer el valor que tiene, lo que significa para nosotros el acceso educativo que puede tener nuestro en la parte económica. No solo los que venimos a trabajar acá, viene mucha gente a visitar acá las ruinas, los hoteles, restaurantes, souvenirs, todos pues se benefician, ¿verdad? Quizás teoría no tenemos tanto, pero tenemos práctica acerca de lo que son las excavaciones y hemos visto los inicios y el proceso y ahora pues el final, que, que no el final, sino hasta dónde hemos llegado con el trabajo de Rastrojón. Here we are uh, in the Sculpture Museum. This is Structure 10 uh, that we saw out at Rastrojón. This is really the last phase of the, our training program where the people who have done all the work excavating and documenting and analyzing the sculpture are now putting it together in the museum. Uh, here we're looking at the process of how we put all the, the pieces together to, to form the whole facade of the building. And to make that possible, we have to first draw the, the sculptures. We are pretty sure that this is the original. At first, it was a lot of sculpture just scattered all, along the surface that had all fallen off the main facade of the building. My job was primarily to work with the other dibujantes, the other technicians who draw the site, and map every piece of cut stone so that it would aid us in reconstructing the facade of the building as you see it now in the, in the Sculpture Museum and part of it now over there um, behind Structure 10. I put this museum together with a few other people many years ago and now I really feel like I'm passing that knowledge on to them and so I'm really proud that this is the exhibit that they're putting up um, for the first time. Sustainability is very important for this type of uh, project. It needs to involve and include the local community, and that is the best part that uh, Bill and Barbara did here. Esto ha, ha, ha despertado en mí el interés ¿verdad? de querer conocer más acerca de la arqueología, ¿verdad? en especial la, la cultura maya, y conociendo la necesidad, la carencia de, de personas especializadas aquí en Copán, en Honduras. Tenemos poco. Rastrojón fue ese impulso ¿verdad? que necesitaba yo para, para saber qué quería seguir estudiando. Yo siempre supe que las ruinas eran importantes y que los mayas, pero ahora el estar involucrada, quizás eso viene como a confrontarme de que realmente esto es de nosotros, que lo tenemos que cuidar, que tenemos que conservarlo. If the local community is deeply involved and different sectors of that community can partner with people inside and outside of the community and the culture itself becomes a big part of the identity of that community and what they want to pass on to future generations, as we're attempting to do in Rastrojón with the Educational Foundation and Harvard's participation, and we think we've got a, a good shot at carrying it forward.